Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new to the channel, welcome to you as well. But if you are somebody that followed this channel, you know that the last two months we've been talking a lot about accountability, about the importance of being responsible for our actions. And when I saw this story, I said, listen, I need to talk about this in relation to what we've been talking about. And that is not the only reason why I want to talk about this. Another reason is for those of you that don't know, I actually live in Connecticut, born and raised. So listen, I'm going to let you guys hear this story for those of you that have not heard this story yet. And when I come back, I am going to give you my thoughts a scandal involving Connecticut State Police and thousands of fake tickets now heating up. And lawmakers are demanding answers. Governor Lamont says those who intentionally did this should be let go, including management. Our chief political reporter Susan Raff is at State Police headquarters in Middletown with what all of this means. There are big problems for the Connecticut State Police. It is possible that hundreds of troopers falsified thousands of traffic tickets. Those hired to uphold the law are now being investigated for breaking it. A recent audit found troopers falsified nearly 26,000 traffic tickets, and more than 32,000 were inaccurate. Ken Barone pushed for the audit after an internal investigation found four troopers had falsified tickets. There's no evidence that these are real people. Barone says this has raised concerns about skewing racial profiling data. The unmatched records uh, were more likely to be white drivers, white identified as white individuals, and the records that should have been likely reported to the system and were not were more likely to be Hispanic motorists or motorists of some other race. If people were not investigating this thoroughly, if they knew that they were purposeful mistakes, not mistakes, uh, uh, purposely uh, misrepresenting what was going on, those people should go, and I think their management should take a look at themselves as well. Lawmakers are holding a hearing next Thursday. Losing the lack of trust of the public uh, in a situation like this is, has dire consequences for our sense of public safety. The investigation found troopers did this for their own personal benefit. Troopers who appear productive are often eligible for federally funded overtime. It is yet another example of how easy it is to find this kinds of uh, fraud or false statements or misconduct because of technology. Some of these state troopers could face criminal charges. Forgery is a felony, but time is running out. There are statute of limitations, and in this case, it is five years. And some want to know why it's taking prosecutors so long to decide whether or not to bring charges. In Middletown, Susan Raff, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. Hey, what's going on, guys? We are back. And as you can see from the clip, this is not a good situation. We know that law enforcement is supposed to be here to protect and serve. You know, we don't expect them to be perfect, but we definitely expect them to be responsible. And unfortunately, in this situation, they that that they were not, you know, for them to write thousands of fake tickets and for us to be where we are to the point of where some of them may be possibly arrested for this. Uh, many of them probably are going to lose their jobs. From what I'm hearing, that's something that's already taken place. I cannot confirm that, but I hope so, right? Because once again, what we've been talking about on this channel is that everyone must be accountable for their actions. And what is the reason that we always say that it is important that we hold children um, accountable for their actions, that we hold ourselves accountable for uh, our, our actions? We hold law enforcement. Uh, those of us that are in ministry in the church absolutely need to be held accountable for their actions. Why? Because when you don't hold people accountable for things like this, then what is going to happen? They are more than likely to repeat that behavior. So I'm glad that the governor is getting involved. I'm glad that people are, are you know, are calling these things out. I thank God for the brother that, you know, asked that this investigation, this audit be started because this is what we need. We need people to be held accountable, uh, especially in this country, right? Because you got people out here doing all types of stuff. If we want people that are 
you know, uh, committing crimes and doing all types of things, uh, crazy things to be held accountable, then that should go for our law enforcement as well. That should go for our government officials as well. That should go for our church leaders as well. One thing about me, those of you that follow the channel, and if you are new to the channel or you're just tuning in because of this story, please subscribe to the channel. We talk about a lot of good things here on the channel. But those of you that know my testimony, I used to be in the streets here in Connecticut. And one thing about me, you know, when I used to get in trouble, arrested, in and out of jail, I never went to court with any excuses. If I got caught doing something I had no business doing, I didn't go in there talking about, you know, the projects or talking about how hard I had it or, you know, everybody's doing it or, you know, the white man or this and that. None of that, because, listen, nobody made me do the things that I was doing. So guess what? I was responsible for those actions. You know, I was held accountable for those actions and whatever I needed to do in order to get past that. That is what I did. So that's what we expect from everybody across the board, right? To be honest about where they messed up and whatever consequences is going to come from those actions that they deal with it. So I'm just praying that in this situation, everyone is held accountable, that nobody slips away. Because if you notice in the clip, they're talking about the statute of limitations uh, 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 possibly uh, being up and some people getting away with it. No, nobody should get away on no level. Everybody should pay on the level um, that is, is appointed to them for whatever crime they have committed in the midst of this whole scandal. I mean, it's unfortunate. It is sad and prayerfully it will be fixed. But I just wanted to share that with you guys. Once again, just to show you, you know, the what we've been talking about, how much confirmation we're getting from this because everybody needs to be held accountable, right? It just can't be the little guy on the total poll, it has to be, you know, everybody from the smallest to the largest, you know, whether that's law enforcement, like I said, government or in the church world or in the school system. I don't care where it is. If you are wrong and you did something wrong, you need to be able to say, listen, I messed up. Whatever consequences is going to come from that, I'm going to deal with that and, and move on. And guess what that's going to do with you being honest with yourself? It will give you the opportunity to not do it again. But know that I love you guys guys. And until the next time we hop on the channel together, Shalom.